Batman. Uh, this is Batman issue 101, After the Laughter. Uh, hmm. I, I read this part, and I was like, oh, no, Josh is going to be so sad. Uh, it starts off with Bruce kind of reminiscing on what he used to be, what Batman used to mean. Uh, he's talking to Catwoman right now, and uh, <laughs> Batman's like, I have to be a different kind of Batman, Catwoman. And Catwoman's like, mm, okay, does this mean – it's like, not forever. Well, so es- essentially, Batman and Catwoman are breaking up for a year, are get- are taking a break because Batman has to figure some shit out. And Catwoman also has to figure some shit out because she's made some enemies in the Joker War. So, you know, time skip, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so at some point uh, a week ago, Batman goes to visit Lucius Fox, who is being protected by the Grifter. Um, he is, uh, Josh, for, for reference, uh, wild, he's a Wildstorm character from an imprint of DC, but has been integrated into the DC universe like... Uh, Swamp Thing, like Constantine, like uh, the characters of Vertigo. Um, yeah. So you and know. Grip is is again just another one of those really awesome, super dope characters. Yeah, the mercenary guy. I don't know much about him, but I just know where he comes from. Oh come on, man! You know what? I'm he. I'm not even going through the theatrics. I know what time it is. He's a nobody. I like his cool. I'm I like his design. I think his design's cool. Um. But yeah, he basically goes up to Lucius is like, Lucius is like, you got to understand why I hired a bodyguard. Um, and Batman's like, yeah, you're fine. Uh, it's cool. Uh, and they're explaining that, uh, you know, the clown hunter's still out there. Joker's still out there. A new mayor is trying to take the place of the old mayor. A lot of a lot is changing in Gotham, you know. And uh, finally, the biggest bombshell drops. Uh, Bruce Wayne has been ousted from Wayne Enterprises, leaving Lucius Fox the uh the head of it he's in charge and batman doesn't have much money left uh bruce is bro not bro not bro they bought him nah that nigga is broke for all intents and purposes yeah he went from he's... having billions yeah. and billions to and he got like 700 in his account right now <laughs> yeah he's he's, he's getting broke, uh bro. he's getting a severance package for the most part like they're paying him to they bought him out they bought him out of his own company and uh, essentially, the biggest change to Batman right now is that he's just going to b- have to be Batman on a budget. Uh, he's like, y- you're not going to have all the fancy cars. You're not going to have all of the cool gadgets. If you're going to be Batman now, you got to figure out how to do it without all your riches, which is uh, an interesting prospect. I mean, it's like James Tinian like, her- watched all these memes that have just been floating around recently where everybody's just roasting Batman for just being a rich guy. And he's like, you know what? I'm going to make him poor. Er, than he used to be. Um, so, yeah. Batman's on a Batman's uh, not going to be as batman I guess. He's not going to be able to come up with the correct gadget at the right time. He's just going to have to rely on his wits and a few gadgets. Yeah, in his uh, brownstone apartment. Yeah, in his brownstone apartment. Which I don't know how the hell he's going to pay for without millions of dollars in the U.S. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, he owns it, so I don't know. He could probably just sustain it on the money that he's getting now from his company, from from the buyout. Um, so as he's walking out, he comes across the Grifter again, and he's like, "Tell your boss, I want you to send a message to your boss." And Grifter's like, "You just talk to him." He's like, "No, tell him I know what Halo is." And uh, Grifter's got another boss, and I guess he's gonna be more important down the line. We're gonna see Grifter again. Um. We get the little scene where Batman breaks up with Catwoman temporarily, not in a vicious way. They're just taking a break, and the chapter ends with the issue ends with them being like, "So let's go to that brownstone and fur." And uh, that's where the issue ends. Um, I mean, I'm not super sad. Yeah, I mean, you they'll know. be back. Well, the first few pages, I was like, "Oh no, what are they gonna do?" <laughs> I didn't know yet. It took a while for them to be like one year, but. Uh, I was like, oh, no, are they going to come up with a reason to tear them apart forever again? Oh, man, I was so upset. I thought they were going to go to separate ways. Man. Yeah. But... <laughs> Josh is very invested in Catwoman and Batman. Uh... You know, because the Tom King's writing was really good up until, like, he j- up until the very end. It was weird. <laughs> it's hard to run- end in a run. Um, yeah. But in any case. It's like he gave us the twist and then didn't know what the fuck to do with it. <laughs> He's like, oh man, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. That's what I really wanted to do with this whole series, and now I guess I gotta. 
it's funny. Maybe I'll make it epic and kill this guy. It's funny. I listened to him. He. I went to Comic Con last year before the end times and uh he was there i watched him speak for like 10 minutes about batman it was before like ba- city of bane i believe and he looked just tired i think the guy's writing like multiple series he's writing this he, he wrote batman he was writing um he wrote mr miracle he's writing strange adventures and he's also writing a rorschach series right now uh he's a tired man wow so he and he was writing heroes in crisis at the time uh he was writing a lot mm-hmm. of stuff but uh, yeah. In any case, that was a uh, Batman. Uh, very interesting. I mean, the concept of Batman not having all of the money, I kind of want to just show to people now because I have seen a lot of memes of just th- there is a very funny just thread, on Batman, like on Twitter, yeah. just where everybody's ripping on Batman for just his power being a rich white guy. So now he has the power of being a slightly less rich white guy, <laughs> and uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Um, how bare bones he's, he's gonna to be? Fingernails real dirty. Yeah, how how bare bones he's gonna be? I don't know. He's gonna be living in Gotham, uh, for the first time, like not in the manor. Uh, it's an interesting comment. I don't think it's been done before. I think so. I mean, we'll Google it down the line or something, mm. and come back to you on that. But I don't think uh, we've seen it. But um, excited to see it. 